that's got to get higher. We, we lead the league in free throws for a reason. That's got to be up, up towards 80%. 74% is not, not going to cut it here. Okay? Uh, overall, some real good stuff. Real good stuff uh, from last night to the squad screen. going to be a very different team. Um, we graduate uh, two 1,000 point scorers, um, so we have a lot of uh, young guns kind of stepping into new roles and we're playing some good team basketball and that's the way it's got to be and if, if we want to be successful this year we're going to look to uh, really utilize our versatility and quickness and uh, I like what I see so far. With primarily really 11 sophomores and, and freshmen it's been a lot of teaching um, and my veteran leaders uh, and Nick Taldi, Taylor Soa, and Andrew Joseph have really done a nice job of kind of teaching the young um, young players exactly how we do things, um, getting them ready for that game competition that's that's starting up in a couple of days. And it's been uh, it's been a real fun group to coach because they're young, enthusiastic, and, and hungry to win. <laughs> right now, uh, I have some great captains uh, leading the way and. Nick Taldi, and, uh, who's, a, who's a veteran of the group, who's been with me since my first year, and uh, Taylor Soa, who's kind of taken over the torch, um, helping that kind of bring that younger group along as well. And my sophomores um, were really battle-tested last year. Um, so they have experience, and they're, and they're looking to pass that on to the, to the freshmen. It's all about team basketball this year. It's about working off of each other in the offense and communicating defensively so that we can one cohesive unit without just two superstars, we got a team full of them. And we're really going to have to play like that and we're going to succeed that way. Even though we're losing those three pieces, like, I feel like we're going to work some more as a team. It's not going to be one-on-one -on -one basketball. We're much fa faster like, uh, as a team. We play better defense without them. Even though there's a good help for us, but like, I feel like we're much quicker. It's going to be a very good year. strength is is the fact that you know we have uh, we're not extremely big um, but we're not exactly small either um, we kind of all hover right around that six three to six five range and and um, we have some great length and in, in the way we defend so uh, you know it, it does change year to year but the IQ is always going to be there uh, in the type of uh, student athlete that I recruit well it, it gives me the freedom to uh, give different matchups to different players, um, kind of shift them around. Uh, I'm not having to pigeonhole one player at one sp specific position. You know, we have players that can play um, the center position, the forward position, and the guard position. So it allows me um, kind of to shift pieces around without really losing um, much in, from an intensity viewpoint, from a, a, an X's and O's viewpoint, because our guys know multiple positions on the court. Um, they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing X's and O's wise, and also what their teammates are supposed to be doing X's and O's wise. So it really helps um, the whole knowledge base. It helps me as a coach not having to cater to one specific player. Um, we can kind of shift pieces around and kind of keep that consistency going um, when we move the ball up and down the, uh, up and down the floor.